Hi friends, I am Edwin Williams. I am going to explain a mysterious way of nature to purify air. Does nature capable to produce oxygen? Researchers have now discovered a previously unknown biological pathway that allows a widespread oceanic archaean, a domain of single cell organism that releases both oxygen and nitrogen in the dark. This phenomenon is first seen in an anoxic that is free of oxygen environment. This process, whose details are not yet fully understood, could transform scientists' understanding of the cycle of nutrients in the oceans. In marine microbes, like any other plants, numerous biological reactions are involved in the cycling of nutrients and the generation of energy. Availability of oxygen is a crucial factor for this. Craft B et al. in Science, Volume 375, pages 97 to 100 of 2022, found that a pure culture of an ammonia oxidizing archaean AOA named Nitrosopimulus maritimus was capable to regenerate small amounts of oxygen when placed under anoxic condition, that is, without availability of oxygen. Using isotope labeling techniques, it was found that a series of reactions are taking place there, first transforming ammonia to nitrates, then to nitric oxide, and to nitrous oxide and finally to dinitrogen. Oxygen is also formed. These groups of organisms known as ammonia oxidation archae AOA are one of the abundant groups of microbes in oceans and are the key players in this nitrogen cycle. They obtain the energy by using oxygen to oxidize ammonia to nitrate. However, they have been found in ecosystems with no detectable oxygen. The study of Dr. Donald Canfield of the University of South Denmark assumes that they may be using the water around or may be provided with minute quantity of oxygen which we cannot detect yet. Dr. Canfield and colleagues led by Dr. B. Crafts study this aspect and try to ascertain that a specific species called Nitrosopimulus maritimus might respond to change in the oxygen level as a result of global warming. They explain that this organism will draw oxygen down to near zero level and will increase again, which is really weird. After three years of further research, they established that the RK, like Nitrosopimulus maritimus, are producing their own oxygen, which was earlier found in NC10 bacteria, that is, a bacterial group phylum that could not yet be cultured in labs, which break up nitric oxide to nitrogen and oxygen. The use of oxygen to oxidize methane. But this NC10 bacteria are not known to release oxygen. Moreover, the measurements of the onset of oxygen and, nit and nitrogen production, as well as isotopic labeling experiments, indicate that nitro Nitrosopimulus maritimus produces nitrogen and oxygen through a different pathway than NC10, which may involve nitrous oxide as an intermediate. Further, research is needed according to Dr. Canfield. This is definitely a major step, says Dr. Willem Martins Habana, a microbiologist at the University of Florida. This is yet another way of the nature to purify air by producing oxygen by microorganism Nitrosoma primulus maritimus, a widespread oceanic arcane group through a previously unknown biological pathway 
which releases both oxygen and nitrogen in the dark. Another way of nature in purifying air by absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen is well known for a long time. This process is called photosynthesis where the green parts of the plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen to the atmospheric air. Stomata found on the underside of the green leaves absorb carbon dioxide in great quantity. Roots of plants absorb water. The chlorophylls in the green parts of the plants in the presence of sunlight synthesize the food for the plants using water and carbon dioxide so absorbed as raw materials. This process liberates huge quantity of oxygen which is equivalent to the molecular amount of carbon dioxide used. So, while carbon dioxide is purified and converted to carbohydrates, it also liberates oxygen into the air. This process also prevents the depletion of ozone layer in the atmosphere and thereby tries to protect the life on the earth. This removal of carbon dioxide and liberation of oxygen during photosynthesis is an in an unimaginable magnitude in the phytoplankton, that is, the algae, diatoms, etc., floating on the surface of ocean, explains Dr. Van der Welt in Nature of September 2021. In the same edition of Nature, Dr. Tang W. et al. shows that the phytoplankton's in the Antarctic Ocean alone purified about 95% of carbon dioxide, that is about 675.25 million tons emitted in about 4 to 5 months of wildfire in Australia in the final years of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. Please subscribe my channel to know the latest authentic scientific research news before anyone else around you. This channel explains complicated research in easy to understand way with relevant publications cited in world's top rated research journals. So see you soon with another scientific research explained in simple easy to understand language. Thank you very much. I am Edwin Williams, EJW Science and Research News.